And from Canberra, we're joined now by Prime Minister Julia Gillard. Prime Minister, some of the best poll news in six months for you, and, and you just got back from a week off. You must be feeling pretty good. <laughs> well, I am back from leave and I'm raring to go. Lots of hard work in front of me, but a week off in tropical North Queensland does you a lot of good. Now, in the news today, power prices, they've been skyrocketing for years now. Why all of a sudden you guys jump up and down about it? You've, you know, had the chance to for the last four years. Why now? Well, we've been doing a lot of work on power prices and now's the time to get all of that work at the COAG table uh, before me and all of the state premiers and chief ministers and to get the job done. We want to take all of the work that's been done, put it before state premiers and make a difference for power price rises in the future. Uh, miss, Mrs Prime Minister? Is that... Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I just call you Jules? <laughs> That'll do too. J Julia, um, I have a question for you. I understand your partner is a, is a hairdresser. Is that correct? Yes, he is. Um, and I, I suffer from horrible split ends. <laughs> did, uh, do you, would you have any advice for me or uh, any way that I could... Because this hair is terrible. It's like horse hair. Um, and I'm at my wit's end. Uh, well, I can give you some very clear advice, and I'm sure Tim would endorse it. You need to get yourself to a hairdresser mm -hmm. straight away. Okay. You need to spend buckets and buckets of money on mm -hmm. in-salon treatments, okay. and then you need to buy everything that they yeah. recommend for you to take home. Now, Prime Minister, the other big news of this week is, of course, the Olympics. Everyone's got an opinion. How do you think we're going? I think uh, people can be a little bit tough. I mean, our athletes are over there uh, amongst the world's best, trying their guts out, doing everything that they possibly can. And I think we're really at the stage that we should just be cheering for them and right behind them rather than starting to, you know, criticise or question. Uh, Julia, it's Will again. I'm wondering, do you have an opinion on the power prices? <laughs> 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 or... <laughs> Did you? Did someone already ask you about that? <laughs> oh, never mind. Will someone, will someone did ask oh, me about okay. that, okay. and I'm, I'm concerned that with all of these treatments in the hairdressers, yeah. you know, there's a lot of power being used, blow dryers and the like. So those power price rise issues are important for you too. Absolutely. Fair enough, Julie. I want to get back to the Olympics, though, because there's some real pain happening there for Australians. There is. And, I mean, we've got a lot of silver medals, but they're not good enough. You don't want silver at the next election, do you? It's not going to work for you, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Well, Husey, uh, the election is a, a two-horse race. Uh, when we're talking about the Olympics, you've got people who have trained a lifetime and we're somehow full of criticism instead of saying that is a fantastic result. Now, Prime Minister, from, from my understanding, you're saying that these are people that physically put themselves through the ringer. Years and years of training, they push their bodies to the absolute limit. Given that seems to be what Tony Abbott has done to prepare for Prime Minister, would you say that we should be proud of his efforts as well? <laughs> No, I think we should send him to the next Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Prime Minister, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. We'll chat again soon. Thank you.